Pokemon was my childhood. I started watching Pokemon ever since I was a kid, but I wouldn't consider myself as part of the OG Poke fans because I wasn't even born yet when Pokemon was first released. Pokemon started in 1996 and I was born a year after. My first game was actually Pokemon Ruby and I grew to love the franchise after the game. Although I was addicted to the game and anime when I was young, I stopped watching and playing when I reached high school. Only when I saw Pokemon XY in 2014 that I remembered that I love Pokemon. So after remembering my love for Pokemon, I decided to watch the entire series from the very beginning. And I never imagined that it would reach more than a thousand episodes. But after watching all 1000 plus episodes, I never thought I'd be making this video. I've always joked that I would die first before Pokemon ends. I mean, the anime is not really ending. Ash and Pikachu are just leaving the show. I don't know what to expect with the new MCs, but I know that the anime will never be the same without Ash, Pikachu, and maybe even Team Rocket. But as I look back at all the battles I've witnessed, all the laughter I've made, the tears that I've cried, and all the regions that I've explored with Ash, I knew that some seasons were more entertaining than others. And since Ash's journey is sort of ending, why not officially rank each Pokemon region Ash went through? And by region, I'm not talking about the literal location of Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, etc. But I'm going to discuss how good of a trainer Ash was during that time, how balanced his team was, how much I like his companions, and if the episodes were entertaining overall. Hi, Ace Trainer Ziddy here, and here's ranking every Pokemon region. I think it's fair to say that almost everyone agrees that black and white is just the worst. First, they made Ash 10 again, which doesn't make sense. Age Ash up, cowards. And then they reset Pikachu and then he got defeated by a level 5 Snivy, which a lot of fans, including me, are still pissed about. Then Ash met the most annoying companion he could ever have, Iris. You act like a little kid. You are a little kid. What a kid! Ex you! You're still a kid! It's not funny. But the worst part of Black and White is they made Ash such a noob again. Black and White was after Diamond and Pearl, where Ash was such an amazing trainer already. Then in Black and White, suddenly he just forgot everything. His entire team was such a mess, they were all over the place. Then during the Pokemon League, Ash lost to a rookie trainer without even a complete team. They just did Ash dirty in black and white. It's such a shame since the black and white games had one of the most compelling storylines I have ever played. I honestly don't remember much from the Johto region. Brock came back, so that's good. All I remember about their Johto journey is Bayleaf having the biggest crush on Ash, Totodile being such an adorable Pokemon, and Ash finally defeating Gary. Ash here becomes an older brother to me. He has grown and now he is teaching a new trainer. But even though Hoenn is basically my home region and where my favorite Pokemon Blaziken originates from, Advanced Generation is just okay compared to the other regions higher on the list. However, I really enjoyed the Battle Frontier season. Not only were the battles exciting, the theme song for the Battle Frontier season was so catchy that I still memorize the lyrics to date. Sun and Moon was indeed a breath of fresh air. I could tell that the writers were trying something a little different. Or maybe because the games were also quite different from the previous generations with the Alola region not having gems. The series was more comical. The new animation style fits the comedic side of the show. However, the show still delivered emotion and depth with tragic backstories. Lytton's backstory still haunts me. This was also the region that Ash finally became champion. Yeah, I know that he also won in the Orange League, but this was when he was first recognized as champion. But what I really love about Sun and Moon are Ash's friends. Even though they were so many, Lily, Suiren, Mao, Kiawe, and Mamane. 
reminded me of my own friends in elementary. I'm using their Japanese names because I was already watching the Japanese sub during this time. And when Ash said goodbye to his Alola family, I cried so much. There was just something about Alola. This is my family. I found it all on my own. It's little and broken, but still good. Yeah, still good. The OG region that started it all. This is the region that introduced to us the world of Pokemon. We were all curious as to what these so-called pocket monsters were. And back then, we didn't know we'd be sucked so deep into the franchise. I didn't know I would still be playing Pokemon after all these years. But I guess the reason why this region isn't so high on the list, it's because it's just built on nostalgia. There, I said it. Don't get me wrong, of course I love the OG team. Fat Pikachu, Calm Bulbasaur, Cool Squirtle, Stubborn Charizard, Long Lost Pidgeotto, and Break My Heart for Leaving Butterfree. And let's not forget Fall for Every Girl He Meets Brock, and I'm Afraid of Bugs, Misty. But for me, the other regions just had more to show, especially with Ash as a trainer. Of course, Ash was an amazing trainer during the Orange Islands Challenge. I mean, he won, and, you know, Charizard finally obeyed him. But, you know, compared to the other regions, you know, Ash was still a rookie here. However, I think I speak for a lot of us when I say that the OG series will always have a special place in our hearts, since this is where our Pokemon journey began. Plus, what I really love about the original series is that it has no chill. Like, it has episodes where there were guns, <laughs> it was so savage. It was just very chaotic, you know, 90s anime was just very chaotic. Ash's journey alone is the reason why Journeys is so high on the list. Ash won the championship tournament and became the strongest trainer in the world. I'm still pissed at the official Pokemon page for spoiling the ending of his battle against Leon. But I'm glad that Ash won. My boy has come so far. I was so proud to see him win. Journeys was really different from the rest of the region because he didn't bother to go to the gyms as usual, which I think fits well since Ash was already the Alolan champion. He finally got Lucario! Finally! Journeys also fixed Iris from this annoying whiny trainer to the respectable Unova champion. The battles were so amazing, except for some plot armor battles. Plus, I'm really glad that they changed the animation style. This is probably my second favorite animation style. However, if it weren't for Ash being so developed, I wouldn't put Journey so high on the list. The reason being is... Go. A lot of fans hate Go. I don't exactly hate him more like dislike. It's just so annoying how Go just catches Pokemon with ease. And the Mew arc was so rush. But I think it was the writers, you know, um, catching up some deadlines. It was really, really hard. Okay. Then there's Koharu, who's so underdeveloped. Which I guess they did it on purpose because it teaches kids that you don't always have to figure it out. But I don't know, I just find Ash's companions in Journeys lacking. So honestly, if it weren't for Ash and being able to see his growth from this clueless kid to an adept trainer, Journeys would not be so high on the list. I believe that Diamond and Pearl is where Ash shined the brightest. He was truly a top trainer displaying strategy and wit. He even invented a new battling style that was offensive and defensive at the same time. His Pokemon team was balanced. He also brought his old team to the league. He was so good that they had to bring in a random hack, Tobias, who had legendaries just so Ash couldn't win. Paul was such an amazing rival as well. He really pushed Ash to do his best. Ash and Dawn had such a wholesome friendship. 
Dawn is hands down one of the best Pokey Girls. I just really love Diamond and Pearl. That's why I was so pissed with Black and White because I expected so much from the writers of the show after this amazing region. And the best Pokemon region for me is... Pokemon XY Even though Ash's Pokemon team was imbalanced with two flying types and two dragon types, he was still an awesome trainer. Clearly, he should have won against Elaine. Greninja is easily one of Ash's best Pokemon. The animation was just explosive. Just wow. That's why I was disappointed with Sun and Moon's sudden change in animation style. Then of course, my favorite about this region is his companions, especially Serena. I know that some fans hated the Amor shipping. I personally enjoyed it a lot since it's actually confirmed that Serena likes Ash. Seeing Serena all flustered every time she sees Ash reminded me of how I constantly make a fool out of myself in front of my crush. I enjoyed XY so much that their filler episodes didn't feel like fillers at all. And I was so excited to watch the latest episode that I couldn't wait for the English dub anymore and ended up watching the Japanese sub instead. And let me tell you, it changed everything. I never looked back again. Kalos is just a fantastic region. And among all the regions, Kalos is something I would want to explore with Ash again. So that's it! That was ranking every Pokemon region Ash went through. Journeying with Ash, Pikachu, and Team Rocket was one hell of a roller coaster ride. And saying goodbye to them feels like saying goodbye to a lifelong friend. Thankfully, we still have a few episodes left to conclude Ash's journey. And hopefully, we'll truly witness Ash being the very best like no one ever was. Ash, Pikachu, Jesse, James, Meowth, and Wabafet. Thank you.